Um, this morning we're going to head out to Wagon Tongue Mountain um, and we'll have Ray with us uh, and my wife Jeanette. It's out in New Mexico um, on the other side of reserve from me. I'm in Arizona right now, so we're going out to New Mexico because the forests are open so we can hike there without any issues. Um, it is right, uh, the mountain is right off of the Continental Divide Trail and uh, my wife really wanted to do uh, a piece of the Continental Divide. Neither one of us have been on it. So that would be fun. Um, hopefully we can get up to it close enough. Um, we're kind of on a tight uh, time schedule today, so uh, we're going to you know, do what we can to get this done quickly. But that means we need to get a little bit closer to the trailhead. And uh, I'll put the map right here, right here, somewhere on here, so you can see what the heck we're doing. But anyway, off we go. Oh, yeah, Dale, let's get cracking. <laughs> CQ, 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 this is November 1, Charlie Lima Charlie, Summit's on the air. Okay, my vehicle, we have stopped here because um, I think it's the end of the road. I mean, if I had a little bit better set up here, we might be able to get through this, but I don't have enough clearance to get through some this gnarly stuff here without tearing something up. As you can see, I hit this rock and pushed it up, so. Yeah, I should have traded Dale vehicles. <laughs> but yeah, could have gotten through this, but yeah, well, we need the exercise. All right, let me make one small correction here. Um, where we had to stop is right here at the Skull and Crossbones. Um, and the intended route underneath here is a red line is to drive up here on this road and then take it where it forks off onto the trail. That would have been the perfect setup. Now you heard me say that, oh, no problem. We needed the exercise anyway. Well, if you remember at the beginning, I said we're under a big time crunch. This additional six miles to the trek today is gonna put even more pressure on us to keep the speed up, keep the pace up. So that will turn into a bit of an issue. Um, I might have been able to get around that spot there if I'd put some more effort into it. Um, also, if I'd taken this other route, this, there's another road right here I might have been able to get around. We'll never know. Had I had my bike and I'd been by myself or with someone else with a bike, this would have been a no-brainer. Could have sped up there. It would have taken me about 10 minutes. So, with that, let's get back to it. You think, Ray? Having fun out here? Let's go. Pretty walk up here so far. Man, if I'd been able to get through that one part uh, of my vehicle, this would have been easy sailing, taking a couple of miles off the trip. But, say la vie. On three miles, climb 421 feet. We're at right here on the chart, uh, what I call the IAF, which is the initial approach fix. And we're gonna take the localizer approach. <laughs> uh, instrument flying. Yeah. Um, so this last part is 2.6 miles. And uh, yeah, it's been, you know, 200 and whatever feet over three miles is pretty darn easy, so. There's our sturdy lead, two-legged and the four-legged. She's going to stay between us. We'll run out in front. Anyway, that's the update so far. Pretty hike. Um, wish I'd worn my other shirt. 
This one's a tad bit warm. But uh, yeah, off we go. We're on the Continental Divide Trail now, for sure. It does connect with that road a little bit and then it branches off that road, which threw me off. I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> and there's no signage. Uh, but my wife noticed this trail back here. Anyway, we're on the trail going up to CDT. <sighs> Time to catch up with the main pack here. The Peloton has dropped me. I'm carrying just a bit more weight though. Pretty trail. Okay, according to this, I'm on the CDT. That's pretty cool. So, been a pretty hike so far. We've climbed, ooh, let's see. We've climbed 756, uh, 770 feet, and we've gone three and 3.39. But this last section's been all uphill. It's a pretty good climb. All right, let's get cracking. Trail dog. What do you think, Ray? She's getting ready to attack. There's an approaching hiker. I think I'm gonna rest. I take off my shoes and so if you wanna um go ahead. Jeanette's taking a break. I'm continuing up to the turn off the PC. Uh, CDT, I want to keep calling it the PCT. <sighs> this gets the old heart pumping. I'll tell you what. Good girl. Want some more? <sighs> All right. We're at that little part the all circle it here where I would normally turn right but I'm gonna go a little farther because I want to climb this ridge here kind of tapped out and taking a little break here let's get cracking clouds are moving in maybe in a little bit of rain on the way home uh, it's welcome welcome relief from the heat though heat of the day Perfect right now. Right. Oh, that's a freaking workout. I tried to pick up the pace. My wife is headed back to the car. Um, we're on a time constraint, which neither one of us like, but it is what it is. So let's set up, get activated, and then I gotta get down. Uh, let me give you a pan though. Beautiful, beautiful vistas off here. Soda Dog is with me. So, we're gonna get cracking, huh, Ray? All right, sorry. Here's your full 360, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, you gotta love it. Okay, let's set up.
I want to show this. Ray has tucked herself into this bush, little cubby in there, and in the shade, and she was all super comfy. Aren't you, Ray? <laughs> that covers it. It's 14 in, uh, contacts, five summit to summits. Just killed it up here. I, uh, I gotta get going because of the weather and then I gotta get down the hill and catch up with my wife. So we're cutting it short today, just 20 meter. Sorry for you guys if you waited on 40 or some other band, um, but I had to make this a quick one. Thanks so much. And uh, if you're interested in doing the hobby, hamninja.com slash soda360. Whole bunch of videos on how to do it, both activating and chasing and some other special stuff in there for you. Also hamninja.com. If you like the video, give it the big thumbs up because that'll make my ego get even bigger. Um, had a great time up here getting those Summit to Summits and uh, some other calls. Guys in Oregon were just blasting in. I got George with the attenuator turned on. That means, yeah, that was crazy. I, I noticed that after I got him. But uh, anyway, great time up here. And uh, well, let's head down. The dog's already taking this thing with a single leap. It's not gonna be me today. Beautiful. Light sprinkle here and there. Um, so the stuff is building up pretty good uh, to the northeast of me and to the southwest, or excuse me, northwest and southwest. Quadrants are building pretty heavily. We'll have some good uh, bangers up here in maybe a couple hours, I think. We've been getting rain every day. So I know it's rained here until. Um, and not as much as at my my villa, which is near Alpine, Arizona, if you want to chart that. But uh, yeah, we've been having some perfect weather uh, because you get out, do one soda, and you know, you don't get any crap from your soda buddies. You didn't do a triple or something because, you know, it's a thunderstorm. So you have to sit it out at noon. <laughs> Cause I know you guys expect me to work up here, right? Get to work, get cracking. But uh, God, this was a great uh, hike. And uh, yeah, just really enjoyed a little single track up here. You definitely want to start out early in the morning cause it's a bit warm. Um, and of course this time of year we get the thunderstorm. So keep your eye on the weather. As I say, brief yourself on the weather conditions during the day and at night. So you have enough gear to survive the night. Ah, that's your ham ninja tip of the day. Other than just have fun. Really, there's no right way to do this except get to the mountain, work radio, go down. That's the, uh, the soda zen. Climb mountain, work radio. All right. I reached the road. Uh, CDT. It's the uh, road. That means I'm three miles from the car. Ah. And I'm really wishing I brought my mountain bike. Would have been perfect. Um, Cause I could have ridden it up all the way to the, basically the turn off here. Anyway, enough of that. That's for next year. Um, yeah. This is what we're talking about. Warming up now in the sun.